this is a short report about Mvinsu, about the harvesting of an edible caterpillar in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The village also is called Congo. It's on the Route Nationale 6, 200 kilometers south of Kinshasa. And we go with Augustin Akonda and his team to the forest to see whether the caterpillars of this species in Brasia epimetea called Mvinsu has reappeared here on reforested fodder plants. Here is one of these fodder plants and you can easily see here a small colony of Imbrasia epimetea during a mold. And here covered under a palm leaf another small colony that has reappeared here after this species was lost due to over harvesting and destruction of the habitats. And also if we go more and more into the jungle around the village where these trees have been replanted, we see that also other species and other generations appear on these fodder plants. For example, here Nuda Aurelia Dione, or very fresh, very young, new colonies of Imbrasia epimetea on this leaf. So already now, after two years, we see that this reintroduction is a big success. And sometimes, like here, Imbrasia epimetea, the caterpillar called Mvinsu, he molds in big aggregations on the stem of the tree. And after the mold, they uh, remount to the branches and leaves uh, for eating. So that's probably also one of the reasons, because this insect uh, is eaten here. You can harvest it in big masses, because it always uh, feeds together in big groups on the trees. And if you find a colony, you can fill half a bucket with them. For the harvesting, you need a kind of a, a spike to break the branches where the caterpillars sit on, so that these uh, branches and the leaves fall to the ground and the children can pick them up. With only a rib of a palm leaf, it's finished, and the work is to find the colonies and to break the branches. They fall down, like you see here, and children pick them up. And put them in a bucket. Of course, you leave half of the colony always on the tree to guarantee that uh, they will be here also next year and can uh, survive with new generations. So that's one of the uh, very, very old traditions of the habits of eating in Africa and it's very special among entomophagy in Africa that they eat a lot of different caterpillars of saltonite mosses. The work on the tree is sometimes very dangerous, more than 10 meters above ground. Sometimes the branches are where you can find the caterpillars and the good eyes of the people here, they spot them easily, also high in the canopy. Well, as I already said, they uh, live in groups also in the tree, so if a branch falls down, it's half a kilo of caterpillars that come down and are collected in a bucket. One of the aims is to distribute the caterpillars also to the population here. That's the main reason for the support of this project by the Salvation Army London and Kinshasa. It should reassure um, one of the important sources of proteins for the population here. Due to over-harvesting and um, 
habitat destruction. They were lost, but now they are reintroduced. And the first part of the harvest is given to the people of the village who have planted new fodder plants for this caterpillar. It's also a unique project for the domestication of this edible insect that's going on for the next three years and for sure I will post some other videos about this project in the near future here. Thanks for your interest.